Hello and welcome to the fifth tile podcast. My name is Jay Shalansky and joining me as always is Evan Bullrith. Hey, how's it going? This is the same opening we have for the fifth trooper podcast. I just right. changed trooper <laughs> to <a> tile. <laughs> I gotta maybe I gotta come up with a new entry. Uh, this yeah, and that's all right. I'll be, uh, eh. We're working on it. We're you know, last week was different because we had Brendan on, and this week um, it's just you and I. Just, just, yep. just the old E Dog and J Bro, the old J Dog and E Bro, the old two bad dudes, two guys. The and president's been kidnapped by ninjas. Two, two guys, one Mike. Uh, Are you bad enough, dude, to get him back? The old. The old second podcast. <laughs> uh, yeah, so last week, uh, Brendan, myself, and yourself, we brought board games to the table, yep. and we tried to convince each other why we should play those games. That was great. Uh, this week's format's a little different. We're just going to gush over video games. So we each have a video game we want to talk about, and we're just going to kind of go off the chain. Man, it was tough. So we, we each decided we we're going to bring one, and that way to keep it to a relatively yeah, 30, yeah, 40 yeah, minute. Yeah. But it was tough because a few things happened this week. Um, one, uh, Warhammer Underworlds said season one's gone. All of season one generic cards are out. Warbands stay. Then So the whole game, like a lot of really great YouTube videos out there, some memes people have made for it. Check them out if you get a chance. But that's a whole different podcast. Like That's a whole different me talking about that for a while. And then two cool games hit the store last week. Uh, River City Girls, uh, a new version of River City Ransom, more or less. And then Hunt Showdown for myself. Ooh. Uh, it was a tough, tough call on which one. But uh, you'll be surprised when I get to talk. What would you what'd you bring to the table? Yeah, uh, so it's funny. Uh, what was it? I don't know. A couple episodes ago on the Fifth Trooper, so maybe a month ago, we had a little off-topic conversation. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's what kind of spawned this uh, rendition of the podcast here. And I had briefly mentioned No Man's Sky and how excited I was for the update. And the update came out. And so today I'm going to talk about No Man's Sky. All right, cool. You want me to go first? Because I know yeah. you have a lot. I have uh, a lot gonna, too, but I... I, I gotta, you gotta, you're going to have to rail me back a little bit. So yeah. I'll go first. So then I can use the end of the podcast as an excuse to kind of reel you in. Uh, so. <laughs> And we're done. Sorry. Thanks, folks. (laughs) So, uh, yeah, No Man's Sky. Uh, For those of you who haven't heard of it, which you're crazy if you haven't. I'm just kidding. For those of you that don't have time to be out on the interwebs all the time, No Man's Sky was basically a procedurally generated space exploration game. Came out a few years ago. Its big notoriety was not gameplay or, or the fact that there's quadrillion different solar systems that were all unique. It was the fact that they made a lot of promises that they didn't didn't really bring to the first edition of the game. And I don't, you know, you can blame uh, uh, the creator. You can blame PlayStation. It was you like a perfect blame. storm of uh, was, yeah. like, no man's buy, one man's lie. Like it was, yeah. uh... So, you know, I think the real problem was just that it was an exciting concept for all of us. We'd never seen anything like this. And, you know, Sean Murray, the guy who who created the game at Hello Games, he was very excited about it. And they had all this stuff in the pipeline that they wanted to do. And so he talked about it and he just he was just too excited. He was one of us. It was a was an E3 stage like three or four years ago now Yeah, uh, that he came out. So it was an indie game on an E3 stage. Yeah. And the I think the trigger was the the demo they put out little like video of them flying through everything looks so cool. And what everyone wanted, that everyone's hype level was already too high. Yeah, yeah. And then when like, he started talking about what you could do, like the hype level went higher. Keeps and they going, keeps Interviews going, yeah. and like, and then when it finally came to it and they just, they're like, the studio's like 20 people or something, right? Like, it just wasn't. Right. So the interesting thing, and, I, and I'll speak from my perspective, I was hyped about this game. I was yeah. like, I couldn't believe it because there was this old game I had played. I don't even remember the name of it. But back, uh, oh gosh, in my late teens, early 20s, there's was this computer game I played that was like a space exploration game. And you just like hopped in a ship and you were like flying around in space sure. and like fighting and stuff. And I just, I don't even remember the name. I don't even know if it was real. I could have just dreamt <laughs> it up at this point. But like, I just remember loving that game so much. I love space. I love um, freedom. 
And so, like, any game that's, like, an open sandbox, uh, like Grand Theft Auto Online, or just Grand Theft Auto, the game where once you get past the missions and you can just do whatever, like, those are my favorite games where I can just pick up, do what I want, nothing matters, really, you know, I can maybe do some missions, maybe do a couple things to get myself towards a goal, and then I can shut it down and I'm good, and I can move on with my life, and then pick it back up when I'm ready again. So this was like the dream come true. And like, I remember the first rendition of No Man's Sky. I absolutely loved. Um, I I didn't hate it like everyone else did. It was fascinating. I remember. So in the game, you go to these different solar systems. Each solar system is unique. It's, it's all built by computers. Even furthermore, like down to every planet is unique. So... Mm-hmm. There's unique flora, unique fauna, unique rock structures, unique atmospheres. Like, all this stuff is unique. Um, and different variations of it. And sometimes you it gets repetitive, uh, depending. But, like, sometimes that's just a solar system. Yeah. Like, I'm in a solar system now that's just all, like, toxic planets. And I don't know why, but it that's just what the solar system is. And, you know, there's these different alien races that you can meet. There's, like... All these other ships they're flying around. So basically, you know, the object, they have some... The objective of the game is you're kind of figuring out who you are and why you're there. And, like, there's this whole, you know, storyline that they have that I, I've literally never played. And so I don't even know what the story... To be frank with you, I don't even know what the storyline is. Uh, so from I've played quite a bit myself. Um, but from what I remember, like, you're trying to get to the middle. Of the universe. Yep, yeah, and yeah. And then you get to the middle, and then not and, to spoil anything, stuff happens. Right. Uh, and so, like, but, like, what happens to me, generally, is if it's not intensely linear, like, Spider-Man. Yeah. Like, Spider-Man for PS4 was very open, but, like, it still had, like, a linear, like, you have to do this stuff. Like, yeah, sure. you could swing around, beat bad guys up, but eventually you're going to have to get to that to move. Yeah. This isn't like that. Like, sure, you could do that. You don't have to. You literally, I've, I've got, I think I got like two hundred and fifty hours, maybe more, logged Dang, okay. into the game, and I don't think I've never done the storyline once. So basically, you know, the game is you, you get a ship, you can go to planets. You're like, <clears throat> basically, uh, mining different materials, whether it's in the ground, whether it's stones. You, you have a this uh, laser gun in your hand and you can, it's got like a mining weapon. You can upgrade it. You can upgrade your suit. You can upgrade your ship. Um, you can get entire fleets now of, of like starships where, you know, you have a main ship and then you can buy, you can like buy kind of like fleet ships and mm-hmm. you can send them out on missions to get you money and like mm-hmm. rewards and notoriety, which is great. You know, I mean, it's just... It's can you such, play multiplayer, Jay? You can now. Yep. Um, that's newer. Uh, last, I think it was the last update, right? That's really where uh, multiplayer kicked in. Not last one, but the one before that. Yeah, two, yes, or two updates ago. Well, and that's the other thing about the guys. Like, they, you know, they messed up, but every update has been free. They've been There's free and they've no been awesome. There's no microtransactions. They've been all awesome, yeah. And everyone has made the game that much better. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's it's multiplayer now. But unless you're actually playing with someone or you go seek out, kind of like on any MMO, there's like a hub now where you can meet people and trade and do mm-hmm. all this stuff. I haven't done that because um, it's brand new and I yeah. I don't care to play with other people. But like, well, it's nice because you don't have to in this, right? Right. When I was playing with my buddy James, we we get in the cars and race each other around. We made like race tracks. We uh, he built a house and he show me his house he built, and then we just go. The first time you like leave, enter an atmosphere in your plane is awesome. Like, yeah, that's, that's so cool. Yeah, and you know, so each solar system, like the kind of you, the kind of repetitive thing is, each solar system um, has a spaceport, kind of mm-hmm. like think Deep Space Nine, right? And space station it, where you do like transactional stuff, like you turn in your stuff you've been mining for money. You can meet AI like other ships that mm-hmm. are parking there. They get yeah. out of their ship, and I always think it's funny. You can just buy that guy's ship. Yeah, he, like lands, and you're like. How much you want for that ship? He's like, uh, two million. Or like, here's two. He's like, oh, I guess I live here now. Right? Yeah, like, you just like <laughs> transfer all for yeah. all your stuff and boom. Well, before you used to, before in the game you would trade ships. So you, okay, it was like not trade, but like, like sell it. To, you would sell it to him. Yeah. He would sell his to yours. But now you can just add it to your fleet. So you literally are yeah. leaving him without a ship. It's just, <laughs> it's really funny. 
and you can buy and trade with them. You can buy and trade with the, the main galactic, you know, station, um, you know, and they just keep adding all this stuff. You can tr change how you look now. It's a really interesting game. Uh, there are there are grindy elements to it. Not yeah, sure, sure. But if any... you like that Minecraft grind, where you can just kind of like turn off a little bit and just yeah, go on a planet and then just get all the mer you know whatever oxygen whatever you need. you need yeah yeah. Whatever. The other interesting thing <clears throat> too is like one of my things I was obsessed with when I first started the game. So whenever you go to a Galaxy, if you're the first one there. They have everything has names that are generated by the computer, but you can change the name, rename it, and upload oh, it to the that, server. Yeah. And now that's Galaxy's name that forever. And so, same with all the plant life and animal life on every planet. <clears throat> and you can get money from, you know, finding and exploring and, and researching these plants and animals and renaming them and uploading them to the server. So, like, the first, when it first came out, I literally, I did that for, like, three entire solar systems. I went to every planet, renamed it, found every animal on the planet, found every flora, found every rock, like, renamed it yeah. all. Because it's, listen, it, it sounds like a big deal for those of you who haven't played. The planet, there's elements, like, all the flora and fauna kind are, repeat, it's like, yeah. Maybe 12 to 20, yeah. and then they just repeat throughout the planet, right? Yeah. It's not like Earth, right? No, no, no. It's not as diverse as Earth. But, like, you know, but the planets are huge, and they have different stuff. Sure, yeah. and, they, and then they have, like, settlements sometimes on the planets or, like, trading posts or, like, abandoned ships that you have to fix, and now it's your ship if yeah. you do. Like, dude, it's just endless, the type of stuff that you could do. And so, like, my recommendation for this game is... Give it a chance. It's so much better now. If you like exploring, if you like grinding, if you if you want to be like they have this new thing now where if you're traveling through space in between planets, like uh, they'll have a warning. So before, have you played the new update? Uh, not the this latest one, but the okay. one before that I did. So before you would get kicked out a hyperdriver warned when Pirates. other ships were scanning you yeah, if you had yeah. precious cargo yeah. well now they actually have bounties on other ships so you could be flying through and you'll get a warning that says hey there's a bounty sh that's close okay. by that you can pick up so it's it's an ai ship and you're like well i'm gonna go get it and so you go fly and it'll tell you how many credits you'll get for it and what level of sophistication oh, cool. the 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 bad guy is like yeah. some of them are like you know, bounty of a hundred thousand credits, and then it's like inconsequential. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. It, so you know it's going to be an easy one, or like highly violent, and it's like you know a million credits. Yeah. And so there's just all these different crazy options. Um, it's it's amazing. It's it's an, it's an amazing game. I love that game. I think it's only like twenty or thirty dollars now too. It's yeah, pretty, it's, it's ridiculous pretty now. And I would, and I'm sure Steam sale will be coming in the next couple months. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I definitely, if you get a chance to pick it up and try it out, it's well worth it. I love the game. Um, trying to think what else. I mean, it's it's just cool. It's just a cool game. It's, again, like, the first time you get in your ship and you leave, like, that's always, like, you get a rush. Like, ah, oh, cool. Then you go to a new solar system and you're like, <gasps> you know, like, where do I go? And you land. You know, going in the atmosphere is awesome. Uh, like, with the new multiplayer, it's not versus. It's just co-op. So what's nice is you can just yeah. like pal around. Like I said, we built a racetrack. We raced the cars around for a little bit. He built a cool house. I was trying to build a tunnel, like whatever, right? So it's yeah, it's fun because you can just it's Minecraft idea of just being able to like zone out and play. Yeah, it's interestingly enough becoming um a lot like Ark. Yeah, actually that's a good. It's like a mix between Minecraft and Ark, where it's Ark. There's like things you got to worry about, like different creatures, uh, other pirates, things like that. But you still can kind of just do that mindless building and not worry worry about you don't have to worry about your hunger or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, right? well, and so now they got this thing where you could craft foods that give you boosts and yeah. stuff. Um, you can like ride animals now. I don't know, that's a new one. And yeah. so, you know, it's it's this weird. It's like I don't want to say it's like Ark or it's its own beast. Yeah, it's it's like a mix between the two. It's just yeah. got a bunch of like weird like combinations of games. You no, know, sure. they're pretty cool. Yeah. Um, you know, and unlike Ark, you know, and more like Minecraft, if you have the right upgrade to your gun, you can like 
It's forgiving. The yeah, it's forgiving. Yeah, it's way <laughs> forgiving than Ark. And I'll, I'll, dude, I'll have a whole. Yeah, I can go on about that. Arc yeah. too. I love that game too. But like, um, it's been a while since I played. But you know, so you can like terraform the planet where you're like, d- use the gun and it like digs in, and then you can find like underground caverns, or you yeah. could you can build more, like add. Yeah, when uh, storms would come through, I'd dig a tunnel. And make like a little shelter for myself while the storm went by, so oh. then eat up all my stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's great game. Highly recommend it. You should try it. Let us know what you think. Uh, just email us contact at the fifth trooper dot com and and give us uh your thoughts on No Man's Sky, Evan. All right. So River City Girls, maybe next time. Great game if you ever get a chance to try it. Uh, awesome beat 'em up. But Hunt Showdown, I'm thinking about it right now. Of how I want to be playing that game. Uh, it's it's set in 1985, uh, like Louisiana, somewhere around there was like a bayou kind of thing. You're these secret group of bounty hunters uh, that it's just you don't care if the other people are in the group. You just kill each other for these bounties. So it's a hair of battle royale. But what happens is you get a bounty contract for right now on the consoles. There's two monsters. PC there's three. Um, one's like this butcher creature and another is this giant spider and you get set out with your, uh, your single solo or a buddy, or I think on the PC, you can do three, three to a group. And you have, uh, the only thing mystic you can do is you can kind of see where a clue is. So you're going to be looking for clues to find out where the monster is. Once you find the monster, you, the idea is you kill it, you send it back to wherever it came from. You take the, the bounty part, like the skull, I guess, or whatever, and you bring it back to your thing, and you gotta leave. Well, the hitch to that is there's tw- uh, well, there's twelve players to a map, so ten more players on the map who want to do the same thing, and so you just gun each other down on site uh, to try to get that stuff. Or do you wait for them to get to the monster, kill them while they're fighting that? Or do you wait to them to kill the monster? They're waiting for it to go back, and you get them there. Or do you even wait till they do all that? They're running back to an extract point because everybody on the map can see the extract points, and so do you wait to jump them there? So there's all this cool stuff, but what really blows this game out of the water for me is all the sound cues. I've never played a game where sound mattered so much. So anytime a gun is shot, you can hear it throughout the map for the most part. It's about a one kilo, um, kilometer map. Kilometer is real small, isn't it? It's less than a mile. Okay, then that's right. I'm th- for I thought meter. Uh, and when you look at a gun, you can go into the options and zoom out how far you think you'll hear the shot. So anytime you shoot a gun, people know where you are. So And there's just random monsters on the map too, like zombies and these crazy all sorts of stuff, uh, bug monster kind of things. So do you shoot it or do you try to melee it to be quieter? Well, if you shoot it, now you got people on your tail. So not only can you not use your gun without fear, then there's like crows and ducks and birds. And so that sounds weird, but if you get near them, A, there's a sound trigger. So everyone hears, ka, 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 ka. Wherever you run toward them from, they go away from you. So you see birds heading north, you know someone's running that way. And so now it's a sound and a visual trigger they have to watch out for. There's like, there's like twigs in the brushes you crack on. There's glass, uh, chains hanging down. Like people put up traps. You can see your noise. Uh, dogs, like these feral crazy monster dogs and pens. So you'll hear, are the dogs dead? That means someone's been there. Are the dogs still up? And they bark when you get close. So you're doing something, and you hear the dogs barking. You're looking at you and your buddy. Like neither of us are, you know, you're both here. So you get down, you crouch, you like sink into a corner. Right? It's some of the most tense action I've ever had, with some of the best highs and lows. But the lows, I'll get to that in a minute. Don't get me down too much. Uh, but the highs are just nuts. So like you're, you find the butcher. It's this giant monster. I think a Diablo two or Diablo three butcher, like a giant yeah. pig oh, monster yeah, 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 kind yeah. of thing. The- Face yeah, you just got a pig head and you shoot it off. But so you're killing that, and then you you kill it, and then it the whole map knows the monster's dead, and now you're waiting to banish it. So everyone gets that message as banished, and he's right there. So now you wait and you you bar up the doors, you put traps down around because someone's going to be coming in. But you can shoot people through the like because it's western, so it's like boards in the walls. Uh, so you can shoot people through there. So you got to be careful, like looking and roll around. And once you pick up the the token, everyone on the map can see where you are. And you get 10 seconds to, you do like your dark vision and you can see people around you. So you do, you pick up the thing, you do a quick scan, you see like ghosts coming toward you. It means hunters are after you now. Uh, so it's, now you got to run, right? Or do you stay and fight and try to get experience? So it's all these like higher gambles. You can get both bounties too if you're really lucky. Like 
you really pull like it's called uh, the f- running the gauntlet. So you find clues, you find the other one, you kill that. Uh, so it's these crazy highs. Now, here's where it gets the lows will hit. It's permadeath. So yeah, it's, oh boy, <laughs> this is like you get to like level fifteen before you actually lose anybody. But when you lose a character, they're gone. Whatever they're carrying is gone. And then you get you have to hire a new hunter. And there's a free one who has like some just basic stuff. Or you can hire a new hunter who might have a a uh, probably your cat heard about the game wants to get in get <laughs> some of this action. Um, there is a uh, they might have a gun you don't have yet, so you get to try those out. But what's interesting is like you level up the guy and eventually you can retire him and he gives you a big boost to your bloodline. Now what your bloodline is uh, is your your collection of experience over time. So even if you're just going in and you're losing guys left and right, you always just take the free next day. You're never out. Mm-hmm. What I like about it is you're never just permadeath you're out that's it sorry right so it's kind of like a little bit of uh um sea of thieves and that we're like you're not yeah i love sea of thieves. <laughs> that's also another game we'll talk about at some point because that's another good topic uh but you might lose the gun you had like the one gun you got early from like a, a if you do a daily challenge you get like a random shot for something higher up on the bloodline but you can always go back and rebuy some of that stuff um but man like th- my buddy connor and i've been playing this like we just start sunday and we've been playing it every night and or even we start whispering, <laughs> even though they can't hear us in the group chat, because we're like, we'll hear a gunshot, and we'll hear right. a gunshot closer, then we'll hear that? glass crack, and we'll shut, 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 shut. Uh, north, north 180 degrees. And so we, we both, right, we don't, whispering does nothing, right? But <laughs> right, we, right. it's so, it gets the, all the sound and everything this game gets to you, and it's Wild West, so the guns kind of suck, but that makes the gunfights more interesting to me. It's not like a, a guy with a... Light machine gun, shoots through walls, 60 rounds, he's just going to get you, and he got the jump on you. So it's like a one-shot shotgun that you shoot, you miss. Oh, God. So and then it goes to, like, melee is a real deal in this game. Uh, you can start with, like, an axe, or you can find, like, a sledgehammer in the map, or you can pistol whip or you can pull out a knife. Like, that's, like, I'll fire six shots with my revolver, and when you reload, he opens the chamber, slides the old shell, puts in the new one, slides the old shell, puts in the new one. So it's not just, like... You see those guys in, like, the new modern games are, like, do a magnum, throw it out, have the magnum, like, already loaded, put it back in, close it. Like, it's, like, you have to commit to reloading. So, I'll fire my one-shot shotgun, miss, go, crap, take out my little six-shooter, bang, 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 he's not down. Ah! I take out, like, my knife, and we're having a knife fight, like, while <laughs> yeah. we're worrying about this, uh, like, zombie pack coming toward us. Now, you said it was, like, Battle Royale. Is, like, the map stay the same size, or does it close in on you? So, it does not close in. So, okay. that's actually why... The gameplay dictates where the fights happen, not the game. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the game doesn't go like, all right, now you got to fight here in the closer space. Now I'm going to make you fight. It's You can totally just decide to not engage at all. Let everybody kill each other, kill the monster, and then you see them running toward an extraction zone and be like, I'm just going to kill them before they extract and run up and try to get somebody. That's a tactic. There's, uh, Or you can just wait. I know some people don't make a sound until they wait till the monster goes down. Then they go in for that kill or it's it's interesting because the fights are around an objective it's why i really it stuck to this game because again like get your blood rushing you get it and you see you haven't seen anybody else this whole game so like where are they and you haven't heard gunshots so there's 10 other players out there like like salivating for you to walk out that door so then just a huge gunfight happens right and it's again it's a wild west so it's like bang 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 six shots i gotta reload you know then it, the worst part is uh connor blasted me in the back <laughs> so we were we were in this crazy <laughs> gunfight and then he put a shell between my guy and uh he goes down and then i come back as um he looked like a, i took the free guy and he had this like hillbilly hat <laughs> on and uh his gun was just like a sawed off with an axe on the top oh my god so i'm like we're, we're playing it off like he's like the experienced gunman who doesn't want a new partner and i'm the hillbilly he picked up on the way i'm like gee whiz sheriff there's awful lot of monsters out in these hills good thing i got my axe here like it's uh you know, that's that's a lot of fun, but, like, it's some of the most tense stuff because it's – you're fighting over a point. You got to get the stuff, get out. Uh, the sound is just – it's so crazy. Like, you got to play it to just realize that, like, you're just walking and you hear footsteps. And you're like, Yo, yeah, that's – we're making noise. But in the soundtrack, too, if you get a chance to listen to that, great. It's on everything now. It's just Hunt Showdown soundtrack. That – it's just – everything about this game is just really having me in love. Now, a detraction – is right now there's only two monsters. So you're going to be hunting the same two monsters over and over and over again, yep. um, which is a bummer. Yeah. Uh, but 
like it's even though that is the case it's almost not about them sometimes they bring you there they bring you to the fight uh and like there's this cool aesthetic of like the devil's real and like his stuff's coming out and like there's a monster infection of bugs like two different kinds of monster third one on the pc but they're adding they have a roadmap out and they've been adding more pretty steadily and listening to community feedback and you said so this is early access on right now on xbox it's early access it officially launched on pc and it has uh there's three monsters butcher spider and assassin um and there's a lot more there's like more guns you can maybe unlock a legendary hunter who has like some special ability there's uh uh, you can choose between ma- uh, male and female, like on the Xbox, just males right now. It's like we're a, a, a version back, um, but there's like legendary guns you can unlock, like skins, and no microtransactions. It's all like stuff you just earn, which I think is really makes it yeah makes it cool. But uh, if you ever have a chance, you want you like a Wild West setting, you like very interesting like monster work. Um, I really recommend this game. Now, if you don't like battle royale, man, I get it. It's definitely in there. Like it's. You're going to be shot by other players because they see you because they want that bounty. Even though, like the story is like you're all part of this bounty hunting group, like a secret. Why wouldn't you just all work together and kill it? I don't know. It's Wild West. It's miserable. I guess it's just what it is. Yeah, kind of. You know, it kind of reminds me of uh, Supernatural. Did you ever watch that show? Yeah, actually, it's very much like that. So you have all the hunters. Sometimes they team up, but sometimes they kind of fight each other, right? Yeah. So. It actually reminds me of a book series called Monster Hunter International. Um uh, that was, that's very excellent, uh, but it's wild, like again, like everything about this just really like. So I'm confused. Lighting. You said it's Wild West, but you also said it was the 80s, 1980s, 1895. Oh, sorry, if I said 19, I'm wrong. It's uh, oh. eight, 1895. Oh, my bad, my bad. That makes more sense. Yeah, my fault if I got that wrong. It's uh, they don't. I not... could have heard you wrong. I just was like this whole time. I'm like, this is kind of oh, weird. 1980s. You're like, it's Western themed. I'm like. <laughs> it's a Texas modern day. What is this? Back to the six future three? And, uh, <laughs> uh, no, it's actually like, I don't, you know, maybe it's just the rush of this new game that's interesting and fun. Sure. But uh, I've been thinking, you know, Connor and I, we have, we're just talking back and forth, like what we're going to do next time. Like, oh, that guy got us this time. Like a lot of what happens is there's different tiers you can, like the more you play, you get into a different tier of player. So what happens is a lot of times we'll be going for the objective. You hear a ton of gunfire. And you're like, oh crap, what's going on over there? And so we're like hiding, right? We're waiting next to a yeah. boss zone and then all the gunfire stops. And so we go out, we see one guy, we, we get him and there's like six bodies. So if someone heard gunfire, they all ran toward, and they all start shooting each other and it's over. So, but then you start counting bodies. So you're like, there's only six here. Where's the other six, four, right? So it's, I think people are taking the game because you can get it for free. Yeah. Well, it's the game is $30, but you can get it for free for like a couple hours on Xbox okay. or it's the prices. I'm sure there's a free trial on PC, but there's, you know, like a thing for that. But uh, so you get a lot of guys who like a lot of people are so used to that battle royale. We just go and shoot the other guy that is in this game. But there's there is times when we both we were in a map and uh, we were capturing different monsters, right? Two groups. So you could just leave and both go and score and have a good day. But do you want to let them get away with that monster, too? Like, maybe we'll go investigate if we get done first. Like, there's a lot of cool, like, just. I don't know everything about the game. Just check it out. Even check out the free trial. Uh, if you don't like battle royales, I probably don't recommend it uh, because there is that like it's not no. it's not like a Fortnite or yeah. uh, anything like that or Apex, but it's a smaller map, smaller people. But I think if you if you don't like battle royales, but you still like a PvP game where like you'll be sweating, like you'll be hiding in a bush sweating because the guy's got a shotgun and you are out of bullets. And you gotta try to jump them with the butt of your gun, or else that's the only shot you got. Yeah, uh, that might be up your alley. Hmm. Um, so especially for free, it's worth a try. Yeah, you know it's funny. Um, years ago, like when Modern Warfare came out and stuff like that, and I I used to love online like multiplayer yeah. Halo. Right, I'm an old school Halo yeah. player, like from Halo One. Uh, <clears throat> we used to have the LAN parties with the you know everybody in the house. I used to love that stuff. Uh, Jedi Academy too, right? Like yeah. online multiplayer. Oh like, man, that was so good. Yeah. Now I'm more like, I find as I get older, I think it's because I have less time to play. No, sure. So like, I'm not as, I can't be as committed about something. Yeah. So like <clears throat> multiplayer games that I really enjoy, like online are pirates. Yeah. Sea of Thieves. Cause there's no, 
It doesn't matter, right? right? Everyone walks in the same stuff, leaves with the same stuff. Right, or or even like Grand Theft Auto Online, because it's like, if you're not trying to do a mission, but you're just like running around, you're like, I'm going to go steal that uh, jet, and I'm going to go blow some people up. No, <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, you know, I definitely, this is not uh, one of the things would be like, everyone should try it, because man, like I was very hesitant at first, but then like, if nothing else, check out the soundtrack. Like, it's like five songs, a small group did it, uh excellent very dark it's like dark southern music i guess is the way i can say it but oh kind of yeah i know what you're talking about like, it's almost like black keys yeah, yeah yeah it's it's super good uh and it pulled me into the whole aesthetic i'm like the worst part was so i, I you know i play a lot of games I'm like this would be an awesome pen and paper if nothing else check out the game just to see the art aesthetic even like watch yeah. a video on youtube and then like maybe that if that you're like wow this really does look cool give it a shot if not it all the cool stuff that you could do from that setting of just like this miserable, like all your guns are dirty, right? You get, you're like, got a new guns filled with dirt. And you're like, guess this is it. Right. And just load it up. Like it's, I don't know, man, it's good stuff. Yeah. It sounds good. It's funny. I haven't, um, <clears throat> you know, I talked about no man's sky, but the, I haven't really, uh, last real, actually two games when Spider-Man for PS4 came out and Red Dead Redemption 2, though I was obsessed with both yeah. those games and I beat them. But, like, yeah, that seems to be more my, like, uh, it's hard to get excited about new games anymore. It's tough. So, like, uh, Age of Wonders Planetfall came out. And, like, I played that for, like, nine hours Saturday. Uh, a couple of my buddies got on. It's turn-based strategy, uh, fantasy space kind of thing. Love the game. Um great for that but then like that came out river city girls came out which is uh river city ranch kind of updated with a lot of in jokes and some of the other ga- uh games that these groups made that's great but then borderlands 3 comes out in like two weeks and i'm man did i love borderlands like i don't yeah have t- time look nice about the hunt is i can get on i could do one or two rounds a round goes anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour depending on how good or bad you're doing so i can do two rounds and be like i'm good yeah, it's so so for me it's it's strange and I don't know for you guys out there in, in podcast land how it is, but like I'm either one or the other. So I'm either like all in until I beat it. Yeah. Or I'm kinda like dip my toes in where like, you know, No Man's Sky and Grand Theft Auto are like dip my toes in. I'm just like, ah oh, yeah, I'll look yeah. this up and play. Pirates, dip yep. my toes in. It's like, hey Evan, what are you doing? Let's get on pirates. Like, yeah. you know, and um but then like Red Dead Redemption 2, Spider-Man, I was, like, obsessed with completing them 100%. Yep. Like, obsessed with it all of a sudden. And I got a feeling that Cyberpunk game that's coming out, like, oh, I'm going to be obsessed Cyberpunk with that game. I can, I can already tell by the way it is. Like, holy crap, that game looks amazing. You know, it's, with everything else that's going, I just don't have time. Like, I, I want to. I'm going to buy that game. Like, it's not even a question. It looks awesome. Yeah. The hype's been so far confirmed. CD, CD Projekt Red does some amazing stuff. Uh, I mean, I love The Witcher Three. Oh it's yeah, one of my that was a great game too. Favorite yeah. like fantasy RPGs. I just trying to find the time to actually play these games is getting harder. Well, yeah, and it's funny, you know. Like <clears throat> I was looking at, uh, I was on tabletop, uh, tabletop simulator, and and then I was looking at all my games that I had like. Ark Survival Evolved, like, I mean, dude, I bought heavy, like, I had a server at one point, there was, we had, like, five or six of us on the server, and we were just, like, man, Ark. going nuts, like, I love dude. Ark, and I would love to get back, but it's, I, I think it's so far advanced now, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I bought a third Xbox One for Ark, because you could set one up as a server, yeah. so I had an Xbox One set up, when any of my friends got on, I'd get home, turn on the Xbox One, turn on Ark, put on server mode. And we'd all play on my server. And it ended up just being two of us who stayed on pretty pretty regularly. Yeah. And when we realized you needed, like, a full clan to beat any of the bosses, we just stopped. So, like, that never stopped me. Like, we never... I've never beat any of the bosses on Ark. So, we basically just tried to survive. Like, we would build houses and, like, try yeah. to, like, go tame animals. And, like, there was always a part of the island we had never been to. And so, it was always, like, what is there? I kind of introduced you to my friend James because he's, like, a... Oh, He's a savant for this kind of thing. So yeah. when you build a base, it runs itself. Right? Be like, all right, because we want that that uh, tech. The you had to beat the boss to get the two. Yeah. And the first boss he beats this crazy spider thing. We couldn't do it. We tried. There's th- two of us. We we figured out it would 
we couldn't shoot and carry enough bullets to kill it with right. people. Yeah. And then we well, could cheat. You can just go on turn turn the all the enemy health way down, all your damage way up. But we didn't want to cheat, right? We wanted to just play yeah. it. And then uh, when when we found out the first time you you beat that boss, like the schematic actually gets like the foundation for the tech and like something else not cool, not like the jetpack or something, right? right? We're like, <sighs> you know, we're just then we checked out, and that's when all the expansions came out after that, uh, which I, some of those look real neat. Yeah, you know, it was interesting. I know we said we were going to talk about two games, but now I want to talk yeah. about Ark, so I'm moving on to that. All right. So what was happening was, um, I, w- I mean, it's been... Last time I really played was 2017. Uh, so what was going on was... Logging, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was... Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, I have five. Oh my, oh my god, I have almost five hundred hours into Ark. Yeah. But like uh, Jeremy and I would play, yeah. and what would happen is Jeremy loves to farm. Yeah, like loves it. So what we would do is we'd have we turn on the server from about November till about March because yeah. that was kind of like winter was a downtime, yeah. right? And we just play Ark every night. And so like he loves to farm, so he'd just be like collecting, but and then. I would go get animals and dinosaurs to tame and then we would load up and then just go explore. Like that was my favorite part of that game is just exploring and trying to like, that's me in a nutshell. I'm an explorer. Like I love to just go see what's out there. Talk about a game with highs and lows though. Like, man, we, my buddy would spend hours taming dinosaurs. Like I think he did the Quetzalcoatl, that giant one. You could build a base. Oh on the yeah, back. yeah, yeah. It was like a ten, like an eight-hour tame. So it's this crazy. big, it's this big pterodactyl-looking thing, huge. Yeah. Um, and you could you could tame it, uh, and you could build oh, okay. a building on its back. It was nuts. Yeah. So you could actually build a building that houses all your other pterodactyls in that building, right? And have like a flying mobile, like a carrier, right? When yeah. you want to attack, but. So oh, can, and for those of you who have never played this game, yes, it's as insane as it sounds. Yeah, there's dinosaurs and lasers and laser dinosaurs and megalodons, and it's, yeah. it's insane. And now there's all kinds of new stuff that I don't even know about. Do the giant monsters and stuff? Yeah. Like, I... So, we, this, this game, man, like, when you get something new and awesome, you get a machine gun the first time. Like, oh, wow. And then, do you were you around when the pigs showed up? Yeah. Then they were just like impossible to kill because they all gave out an aura of like healing and they right. did a lot of damage. So I had a black, we called them Uncle T- uh, Tickle Fingers. It was the uh, the one with the, um that had the really long claws because we didn't know oh, what the yeah, name was. Oh, the bird. The bird. Yeah, we could never yeah. name it. We just knew it had long fingers. And uh, when it does, when it's digging up, it looks like he's tickling the dirt. Uh, so I got this huge thing. It was really great chopping trees and it was a really mean mount, like dinosaur some on it. I'm like, got my machine gun. Gonna go forge a new base. Three pigs come, kill it, kill me. I lose everything. Can't get back to my body. That was like, <laughs> A, a real time week's worth of work gone, like so when I, when I lose something in in the hunt and I'm like oh I lost my that gun I got oh well it, you know I had it for an hour this was like that was like seventy two hours of like labor gone like I would remember like I would just deflate and I'd call like my buddy is like he get upset he's like yo you just lost all that I'm like yeah I need to go lay down like I'm sorry so we we just had fun like man I remember so I was on it right away. And I had gotten a server. There's this uh, Nitrato. You can just rent servers. It's it's hella cheap. Like we rent Minecraft servers with yeah. them all the time. Or like Arc server. Um, and we got this server, and we got we, we were. It was right when it came out. We yeah. got on board. And the first Christmas we played, <clears throat> they had this thing called Raptor Claws. So during Christmas time, there was this raptor that was in Santa Claus's sleigh with reindeer. And he would fly all over the map, like dropping like special yeah. items. That's cool. And it, you you would hear ho ho ho, yeah. and it was only certain times in real time that yeah. he would show up. And like you'd be like, ah, and you'd be like yeah. running across the <laughs> map, yeah. like trying to collect the special stuff that he brought. And then they had like a New Year's thing, and yeah. oh my god, like there was all this. I just remember it was just pure fun. When I when we started it, it was like that for me. Yeah, until, and that's how that's how yeah. uh, pirates was too. Pi- yep. uh, um, pirates, uh, sea of thieves. Sea of thieves. Yeah, sorry. Sea of thieves is like that. It's just pure fun until it's not anymore, and then something dies inside of you. And you're just yeah, like, Ark Mah. was like, man, we love. When I first got to the beach, and we couldn't even make it a day, right? Like you, then you're like, this is game's impossible. I remember. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I first played that too, and like. You, we just kept dying and I'm like, like this, freezing to death or something else would happen. I'm like, what is going on? And then you'd finally spawn in a location where you're like, oh my God. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're still alive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And now, like, you start, and I'm just like, eh, I have, like, a full house built in, like, a day. And I'm like, eh, whatever, just get my machine going here. Yeah. It's, uh, did you ever run to the little dinosaurs that put you to sleep? Yes. And then they glow, their eyes glow at night. And if so, you got hit by them, you're just, was it? That I didn't dead. know that they existed. Yeah, I didn't. We <laughs> start a brand new game, yeah. spawned on this beach side. Yeah. We're building the building and stuff, and then all I all of a sudden you hear, and I'm like, yep. "Oh, what yeah. was that?" <laughs> and we didn't know we hadn't yep. played any year. Game, so when dark arc gets dark, it gets real dark. scary. You can't just run around at night. Right. You need torches. Barely, you need like the flashlight or something eventually. But yeah, and then we've oh my god, yeah, that game was great. And then you <laughs> yeah, no, it's or the snake. The first time you see like one of the giant. Anaconda, Anaconda, yeah, yeah those things. Are, oh my god, those are nasty. Yeah, you know, do the bog was the worst because leeches. You get like blood poison. You have yep. to figure out how to. Go. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's well, and that was the, that was the thing about the game. Like there was all these different biomes on these islands, and like different creatures there. Oh, and then, I'll never then, give the game credit for not being like awesome. Yeah. Like that. And then remember that like ti- Titanosaurus or whatever. Yeah. Like yeah. I remember the first time we saw that in the wild. Like I had, I read about it and I was like, oh my god, that's a big dinosaur. And then all of a sudden we saw it and I was like, oh my god, yeah. that's a big dinosaur. Like, yeah. I was like, holy crap. We uh, it's funny because we we're gonna kill it. Yeah. Right. Because we want to know what it drop. Right. We could have just looked online, but that would have been easy. So we we got a little boat, got a raft, and you can get a raft and you build a base on the raft. So we made like a battleship, and so we we shot it, and the thing almost moves faster than the battleship. Yeah. And so we're like, run, we're you know running, we're shooting it, we're like oh broadside, shooting harpoons and everything. And then it one shots, like the whole thing almost breaks. We're like escape, escape. So we're trying to get away in a little ship that we put all this time into, and this giant just the head in the water because the water's so deep, like chasing it, like yeah. these crazy stuff. Uh, then like. So we we all bailed. Megalodons got us. Oh yeah, and the megalodons are massive and terrifying, right? Yep. Like it's it's you have all these like crazy or the whales. Do you see yes. where, the whales yeah. that would attack your rafts because rafts wouldn't go until like man, would, like every time they added something, it's just like what's going on. Yeah, and it was fun. Uh, you know, like I don't know, like you just kind of like had all these unique experiences and like you know with any game and like when you're partnered up with people like uh. Like, I was known as the bird killer, those, like, big-ass crow birds. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I could just... I, I had a whole army of them because I, for some reason, with the bow and arrow... You just got them. I could just always get them, and I could always trank them. Yeah. Like And it, they would drop, I would trank them, and then I would tame them, and then I'd have another bird. So we'd have, like, whole avia- a- a- yeah, aviaries. Yeah, you'd get your Air like, Force. Yeah. Yeah, and, like, and oh, my God, it was just so much fun, and, like... I loved those birds. Like those were the best because then you just you get a saddle, you hop on the back of one of those. They could carry on. They could carry other dinosaurs. Like yeah, well, were... and that was the thing. Like if you started, so you can level up all the animals that you have. Like you would level it up, and then you could start picking up. Like you would pick up a raptor, and then like fly him way up and, and drop, drop him, him, and he would yeah. die. And then, you know, I'm like, oh my god, I love that game. It again, like it had these. Like I'll always remember the first time we were playing it, and I'm like, wow, this is amazing, right? It's the same thing like uh, Seven Days to Die. Had that same issue with me where it's a zombie survival. You build stuff like Minecraft, like it's all block based. You take stuff out like Minecraft. Uh, and when you start, you're like, oh my God, this game's so hard. It's impossible. I can't believe. Then you get to the point where like it gets really boring. Seven days, you build a base, and every seven days, a zombie horde attacks. We can get your base to the point where it almost just kind of runs itself. There's no turrets or anything. You just put up spikes and stuff. Yeah. And we're in the arc. Um, nothing really, t- unless you get one of the alphas, and then you're probably screwed. Uh, but you build your base, you get going, and then there's an end game to it. What's interesting, you actually leave that island, and there's other islands you can go to. You go fight the aliens, take over the ship, and then go to the other islands. And there's one biome, one like a whole area that's got the griffins and like the castles. And I'm like, that's so cool. Like, actual, like, you can build like a sweet castle and have griffins, Frank. Yeah, on. yeah. I mean, there's just, it was so cool. And, and they had all, the, like, they were expanding it all the time. It seemed like. Every uh, every six months they have an expansion for it, and I think they still do. I mean, yeah. like I said, I just haven't been. I it's remember been two uh, years. Since yeah, it's I've been a really year played. or so since I've really played hard. I remember questioning the fact that a game that was like a pre-launch game, early access game, was selling DLC to me. Yeah, I was a little uh, a little sketched by that, but I bought it anyway. It's uh, it was cool. yeah. I mean, like I'm looking at the <laughs> I'm looking at the DLCs like. They've got. I think I ended up with Ragnarok. So, the so they would have these expansion maps. Yep. Then they would have like total conversion, where it would be like Arc Primitive, where you couldn't oh, yeah. get any of the machine guns. It was all just like 
old stuff. You know, they had Scorch Earth, which was a whole nother oh, game, but then water, an expansion yeah. pack too. That was crazy with all the different animals. Right, um, one of the Griffins. Yeah, and then they yeah. they put out these season passes, like they put out the Ark Survival Evolved season pass. I never got into that. Um, I got Aberration, but then I never really played it. We were we were kind of just done with the game at that point by the time Aberration and on came out. So we got it, but then you you had to be on like certain maps for that, and you know. Yeah. So then and then came out Ark Extinction. That was um, Extinction's got those huge monsters. Like yeah, that's like massive, an massive element monsters infested ravaged planet earth yeah. filled with fantastical creatures both organic and techno yeah because they had like robots like mechs and like, stuff uh, robot t-rexes yeah yeah and then they came out with a new map you know arc uh velguro uh i never played that I have no idea because then they like they had dragons at some point and like dude it's crazy it's yeah a I crazy just, game i'm i'm i i i enjoyed my time with it but unless Somebody was like, "Yo, we gotta play again." I don't think I'd go back. Uh, yeah, I would agree with that. Unless, like, watch it be me. Be like, "Yo, I'm getting a server. Let's yeah, play some yeah, Ark this winter." Oh my gosh, uh, I wouldn't do that to you. But like, no, it's yeah. fine. It's... But like, I'm just there's so many games, and we can talk about all these games, um, eventually. But man, there was this game I'm looking at it now called Project Zomboid. I think I might talk about that next week. I love this game and uh, I haven't played it in a long time, but I can't wait to I can't wait to see it. So yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's been just there's so much good stuff coming out. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, it's it's just crazy. So you got like games are coming out. Uh, all my favorite games are kind of getting monetized, so I, I don't buy them anymore. So I'm just looking right. for um games that don't have microtransactions that I can still enjoy. And, you know, it was really, you know, I heard Battlefront 2 is great now that they took most of that out. Who and cares? It's, yeah, right. It's just too late, though. Like, it's, they added, you know, General Grievous and Kenobi, and I'm like, man, I had such a bad time when it launched. Uh, yeah. And I, I kept lying to myself that I was like, no, 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 I can beat these guys who have everything. I could not. Yeah. Right? So, uh and it's it's just it's just too bad because now I'm looking at like like River City Girls is just an indie indie developer more or less, great game, um actually beat them up uh like the hunt, uh no no transactions just you play right you just play to get what you want and that's, yeah I miss that kind of stuff so it's yeah well it's that's just tough to find now yeah and I mean that's why No Man's Sky and Sea of Thieves yeah you just play speak man to Dude, me Sea of Thieves we could do a whole episode on that it's just like you go in everybody's on the same page nobody. You may have a different looking gun, but it's the same thing everyone's got. So if you haven't played in a year, but you come back on, you're you're gonna have the, just the same chance as anybody else. Yeah, you know, no one's got like a super rifle or anything. No, and right? That's, like that's everything, like. all the upgrades are just aesthetically speaking. And that makes it fun. Like they had the stories we we got caught in that middle of that one. We're like, oh, what's all these cages do? Hey, what's this lever? And I'm like, yeah. I finally I, like after like 20 minutes of like putzing around in here, I you know open my phone. And it's like, oh, it's the middle of one. Yeah. Like, oh, that sucks. And so we we left. Uh, but no, man, we'll, uh, yeah, it's just, I wish I even had time. Like Slay the Spires, uh, it's a deck building game. We start with the basic deck, like, um, Dominion and you add stuff to it to make your engine start going, but you just run it, you run a gambit, you fight monsters, you get to try to get the top fight a boss and the games last like maybe 30 minutes if you're Mm. having a good run. But when you die, you just, you start at the bottom and you get a new, like you get a perk to try to get up the, to the top again, the three classes great game because i can put in like 15 minutes before i go to yeah. bed and then if i lose i'm like oh well like yeah know. yeah it's interesting i don't really no man's sky is like the only game i could play for like 20 minutes and then i just bounce out and it's all good you know anyways all right well we'll have more next week who knows what we'll talk about next week <laughs> maybe more video games maybe more board games uh if you have any suggestions some people have reached out already with some board game suggestions yes, for us please. to try yeah we will try those and uh we'll talk about it on the next fifth tile everyone stay red this has been a fifth trooper production